Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk about the difference between elastic pools and elastic queries within Azure SQL Database. Now these are really two uh, very different things, very different concepts. Uh, but I came across a situation recently where there was some confusion about these, I think primarily because of the word elastic, uh, but again, they're very, very different. So somebody had come to me recently and said, well, I want to do some elastic queries in Azure SQL Database. So I've gone ahead and I've set up my elastic pool and I need some help with the next steps. And so to start, I just want to explain that you do not need an elastic pool to do elastic queries in Azure SQL Database. So taking a look at this list, let's talk a little bit about what an elastic pool is. And really what an elastic pool is, is a, a set or a pool of shared resources or DTUs uh, that can be used by a number of databases in that pool. So if I had a pool with a certain number of DTUs, those databases can scale up or down to use the available DTUs in my pool up to the maximum that I've set for my pool. The advantage here is that I don't have to uh, set the, the service tier of each individual database to use a certain number of DTUs, uh, but by putting them in the pool, they will have the pool DTUs available to them. And as workload on a database increases, it can uh, increase the number of DTUs that it uses um, and likewise, if it's not being used, it'll reduce the number of DTUs that it uses, but I don't have to change anything about the database to, to take advantage of that automatic scale up, scale down. Uh, pools are really ideal for a situation where I have an application, uh, perhaps uh, that's used by a number of customers, and perhaps I've designed the application where each customer has its own database in the back end. So each database has its, the same identical schema and some customers may use the application heavily while others don't use it very much at all. Uh, or you know that may ebb and flow throughout the day. Some customers may use it heavily in the morning and others may use it heavily in the evenings. And by using an elastic pool, I can um, let the pool kind of manage how the resources are used by each of those databases throughout the day. So that's just a little bit about what an elastic pool is. So let's switch over and talk about Elastic Query. What Elastic Query really is, is, is cross database queries. And so we used to be able to do this with SQL Server on-premises with linked servers, and this is kind of similar. And the way we do Elastic Queries is through external tables. And so I want to show you uh, what that looks like uh, on this screenshot from SQL Server Management Studio, where I have uh, two sample databases. One's a sample OLTP, and one is a sample DW. And to set up uh, an, a cross database query or an external table from my data warehouse. So if I want to use my data warehouse database to query data that's in my sample OLTP, uh, the first thing that I would do is in my data warehouse database in this example is to create an external data source. And that you can do that uh, from that external resources folder. It actually just generates a, a sample script for you. Um, so there's no UI for that, but I would script and create a, a data source uh, and that will then uh, make a reference in this case to my uh, OLTP database. And after I've got that set up, then I can create an external table. And so you see that in Management Studio, your external tables are managed in a folder under tables. And when I create an external table, I'm creating a pointer then to a table in my sample OLTP in this case. Now it's important to understand that when I create the external table in the DW in my example, that it does not load the data from the OLTP. It's just simply a pointer to it. But once I've created that external table in my data warehouse pointing to the OLTP, a query executed from my data warehouse referencing this external table will actually read data from the OLTP in my case, and this is an elastic query. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about Azure SQL Database or the Azure SQL Data Platform, please reach out and let us know. And if there are any topics you'd like to hear us cover in this series, please jot that down in the comments below. Thank you. Have a good day.